Shift registers are a commonly encountered digital circuit and the purpose of shift registers is to shift data along usually in a serial manner, so bit by bit, and oftentimes to add some kind of clock delay between the input to the shift register and the output to the shift register. But they can also be used as parallel to serial and serial to parallel converters. What we see here are a couple of examples of shift registers. The Actually, I guess this is this is just one example of a shift register in sort of a an analogy form here we, we've got a conveyor belt and each one of these little blocks is representing a bit so a bit comes in and gets onto the sh into the shift register and onto the conveyor belt the second bit comes in gets onto the conveyor belt and then the first bit goes off and the second bit goes off and and what we have here a shift register in, in the serial in serial out form is also could also be considered a first in first out uh, device so the thing that comes in first is the thing that goes out first and this is the implementation of a shift register using D flip-flops. And, and we've got data coming in, and it gets clocked through each one of those shift registers, and then it comes out. And I've got the same, the same serial in, serial out shift, re shift register shown here as, as a conveyor belt analogy. And I'm going to show you a couple of other different forms that these shift registers can take. In, in this next form here, we've got a serial in parallel out. So that means that the bits come in, or in these cases, the boxes come on to the conveyor belt one at a time. So first box on, the second box on. And then once, once the box is on, and these boxes are, are analogous to the bits, then they all get pushed off the conveyor belt or out of the shift register in a parallel manner, so all at the same time. So serial in one at a time, parallel out, all out at the same time. And the third example here is a parallel in serial out. So in this case, all of the boxes, or analogous to all the bits, get pushed into the conveyor belt or onto the shift register at the same time, and then they get shifted off one at a time. So both the bits on, both the boxes on, and then first box off, second box off. So we got parallel in serial out. And what we're going to take a look at is how do we implement these things these three different types of, of, of shifting. Actually, we'll add a fourth type of shifting, um, which is parallel in, parallel out. So it's it's just a bunch of bits come in, and then a bunch of bits go out. And we'll see how to do, do that implementation using flip-flops. All right, back to the serial in, serial out shift register. And in this case, we've got a three flip-flop, so three different stages to shift the bits through. Uh, for the serial in, serial out flip-flop. So we've got, you can see the data coming in, and what we've got down here is the timing diagram for some data coming into the shift register. We've got the periodic clock, and we see on the rising edge of the clock, and that rising edge of the clock goes to each one of the three flip-flops. So on, each, on the rising edge of the clock, the data coming into the flip-flop is going to be output, the data coming out. And you can see that these flip-flops are all simply chained together. So this data comes in. On the T2, the rising edge of T2, what happens is this bit in, which is going to be over here, will get clocked into the QA. So we've got Q, it's showing up in QA here. On the next rising edge of the flip-flop, that bit, which was here, is going to be clocked into QB. So we see that's, the, that's this transition here. And then the QB data on the T4 transition on this rising edge T4 here is going to be clocked in from QB all the way over to QC. So to get the data in to the data out, it took one, two, three clock cycles to go from data in at the input of the first flip-flop to the data out of the QC at the third flip-flop. Now here's the serial in parallel out flip-flop. And, and remember back to the analogy of the conveyor belt. Bits come in one at a time. Bits get shifted out all at the same time. And in this case, we've got a four-bit serial in parallel out shift register and along with the timing diagram. So this SI is our serial in to the, to the different flip-flops. You can just ignore the clear because the clear is always going to be high. It's an active low signal, so we start off with it, everything cleared. The clear is set to the reset, so what we're going to do, we're going to clear all the QA, QB, and QC. And, and then let's look at the rising. We're going to be paying attention to the times at the rising edges of all the clocks. And the start where we need to start paying attention here is the serial in. 
Okay, so the serial in this bit one, that, that's it's a one, here is going to be shifted in. And uh, so if we just follow the path of this this one on the T rising edge of T1, that one gets shifted into QA. On the on T2 here, the next rising edge of the clock, that one gets shifted to QB. T3 and the next rising edge gets shifted to QC, and the next rising edge gets shifted to QD. But we also want to pay, make sure we pay attention to what's happening in the serial in. It's not just that one that we need to pay attention to, it's this whole stream of bits. We've got a 1, 0, 1, 1, so it's actually four bits coming in in a serial manner here. So the 1 gets shifted all the way to the QD. The 0 is the next bit, and it gets shifted over to the QC. On, on uh, T2 it gets shifted to QA, on T3 it gets shifted to QB, on T4 it gets shifted to QC. The next bit, the 1, is coming in at, it gets shifted into the SI at T2, gets shifted over to QA at T3, shifted over to QB at T4. And the next I comes in at T3 and gets shifted over to QA at T4. So at T4 we've got four bits shifted into the shift register, and we're going to take each one of those bits is at a different flip-flop. So we look at the bits. The first bit that came in is on QD. The second bit that came in, you know, one clock cycle later, is on QC. The third bit that came in is here on QB. And the fourth bit that came in is here on QA. So at this moment in time, four bits are shifted in. So if we can sample all four bits at, that's at the same time, we're taking the bits out in a parallel manner. So we have the serial in coming on SI. Parallel out coming in, in the, coming out on the combination of QD, QC, QB, and QA. The third implementation of a flip of a flip flop shift register is the parallel in serial out. Just a refresher from the beginning. We talked about it at the beginning. Parallel in, so I've got my boxes coming in together on the onto the conveyor belt, and then the conveyor belt starts moving and the boxes go off one at a time. So parallel in, serial out. And I'm implementing that with three flip-flops here. So this is a three flip-flop parallel in, serial out shift register. And the way that this works is sometimes we're going to be shifting things serially and sometimes we're going to be loading things in parallel. And the way that we select, well, we could have any kind of logic here, and basically it's going to be a two-to-one multiplexer that's selecting between whether to take the, the parallel loading, so the D0, D1, D2 all at the same time into the three flip-flops, or to do it in serial, so each one of the flip-flops takes the data from the flip-flop before. And we control that, <coughs> excuse me, using a load signal. So if this, in this case, if the load signal is high, we're going to shift in uh, the parallel data, and if the load signal is low, we're going to be shifting just normal, um, just in, in a serial manner. And, and then this is what I have in the timing diagram here. So the clock, I've got my continuous, my periodic clock going on here, and I've got three different load cycles. And those are a load and then a serial shifting, so parallel in, serial out. So here I've got my load, my, my load while the clock is going high. So the data on D0, D1, D2 here I've represented by the data A2, A1, A0 is going into the lines D2, D0, D1, and D2. So on the rising edge of the clock, it's a parallel load, so loads high, so that means D0, D1, and D2 are all going to be shifted, are all going to be put into the shift register. So on the rising edge of the clock, then Q0 takes A0, Q1 takes A1, and Q2 takes A2. And then we follow the path of, this, of A1, A0 here. A0 goes, actually let's, let's start at A2. A2 gets shifted out, well I guess I guess for S out to be one clock cycle delay I'm actually going to need to have so D2, this would be my Q2 right here. This is my Q2, this is my Q1, and this is my Q0. And I would actually need another flip-flop here that's connected to the same clock doesn't need the 2 to 1 multiplexer and the output Q here this is my S out okay this 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 makes them a little bit more sense for this timing diagram so there's S out down here so on the the data gets clocked in to Q0, Q1 and Q2 then on the next clock cycle the value here at Q2 is going to get shifted to the S out so S out gets the A2. 
on the next on that same clock cycle, that first clock cycle, A1 gets shifted from Q1 to Q2, and A0 gets shifted from Q0 to Q1. The next clock cycle, A1 gets shifted, or the A1 at Q2 gets shifted to S out. A0 gets shifted to Q2. On the next clock cycle, A0 gets shifted to S out. So now we've got the three bits, A2, A1, A0, have all now been shifted to S out, and then S out is going to be connected to something else, and then it's going to do something in, in a serial manner with those bits. And the same thing can happen with, with the next three bits of data, B0, B1, B2. They get clocked in in parallel, and then each one in sequence, B2, then B1, B0, get shifted out in serial. And finally, the C, the C is the same thing, parallel in, and then each one individually shifted out. So I think I'll wrap it up there. That's a brief introduction to shift registers. We've seen three different ways we can shift data in a, in a shift register. One, we can just shift data in in serial manner and data out in the serial manner, so that can add some, some clock cycle delays to your data. The serial in to parallel out that we looked at next. Let's actually go back up to the these diagrams. Serial in parallel out. This allows us to parallelize the data. So we can take data in serial and then out in parallel. And then finally, the parallel in to serial out. This would be a parallel to serial converter or serializing the data. So it comes in in parallel and comes out in serial form. In the next video, I'm going to introduce you to the universal shift register. So this will be one shift register that can do all of these things plus even a little bit more.